Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Growth Group Central. You did not forget my name. I am Nick Jones, and I'm here with my fantastic co-hosts, Jan and Damie. Wait, wait, wait. Nope. It's it's Jam and... Nope. Nope. Cookies and milk. It's, it's Dan and Jamie. Nailed it. Got it. We're ready to go. Yeah, you really got a hold of that one. Yeah, whatever. All right. As always, we're here to discuss G2s. Like we learned last week, it's two Gs that stand for growth groups, and we have an awesome preseason that's already underway. All right, Dan, get us started today with a quick recap of last week's highlights. Well, it's important we remember that G2 is short for growth groups, and growth groups are the best way to connect with people and deepen your faith here at FBC. G2s get together once a week in homes, and there are groups for all ages and stages of life. Our desire is for everyone that calls FBC their church home to be involved in a G2 this year. That's right, Dan, and we do mean everyone. The fall season begins the week of September 11th, so that means right now is pre-season, and it's time to get ready. Sign-ups are already underway, so if you're not in a group, you can still get in one today. Jamie, I'm going to be honest. I feel like your voice could be the one that greets people on the airplane train. Yes. All right. Wait, what's that? My producer's telling me something. Apparently, we've got a commercial break coming up. My kids don't even know what a commercial is anymore. Kids, watch this commercial. So tonight, we're diving in right where we left off. Last week was awesome. Yeah. We're in Matthew 26, which begins what we all know, Jesus' betrayal and ultimately his death. Um, wait, hold on, what? Jesus dies. Jesus dies? We've been talking about this for 2,000 years now. Wait, like the Jesus, like, like this Jesus, like my favorite character, Jesus, this guy dies. How does he die? Pretty common knowledge. Well, it's not common knowledge for me. I just started season two. Season two? Is he, is he talking about the New Testament? Well, how does he how does he die? Who betrays him? Who will betray him? It was one of his disciples. Don't tell me it was Judas. It was Judas. 30 silver coins. Well, he comes back to life. He comes back to life? Oh my. This is an emotional roller coaster, man. I'm ready, man. Okay, Matthew. All right, Matthew 26, everyone. Gosh, just wait until that guy gets to Revelation. Am I right? Yeah. He is in for it. All right, all right. Ooh. Before break, we were talking about whatever is below that line on the teleprompter. <laughs> yeah, before break, guys, we were recapping from last week what G2s are about. And Jamie, you've told us you've got something to share, and I simply cannot wait to hear what it is. That's right, Nick. Yes, being in a G2 is great for so many reasons, like studying together, having fellowship with one another, and building friendships. Let's hear from someone who can attest to just that. I cannot wait to see who it's going to be. Hey, FBC. We're the Cross Crosscrees. I'm Aaron, and this is Kayla, and uh, we're really excited to tell you what uh, growth groups have meant to us. About eight months ago, we decided that FBC was going to be our home church, and the growth group leader pulled us aside and really encouraged us to jump in a growth group that we could build community, meet people. Uh, we came here knowing no one, and this was the best way to get to know people. It helps our kids recognize people in Sunday school, and it really did give us that community of believers to walk with us through life. The group's also been uh, really great for every week, being able to um, talk about the sermon, and it's been really helpful uh, to have other people's perspectives and to dig deeper into the message that we uh, have each week. It is genuinely a community of believers gathering around who want the best for each other. So there was one time that one of us was struggling with something and the rest of us gathered around her and put our hands on her and all got to pray for her. And it's things like that that are super impactful to have that community of believers around you who are willing to lift you up in that way. I would encourage anyone to join a growth group um, as it just helps you find that community, it helps you plug into the church, and it helps you find a group who is willing to do life with you and walk aside you in the good and the bad. If that doesn't inspire you to get in a group, I don't know what will. Jamie, thank you for the story that you just pointed us to. That's so exciting. I guess that leaves us with just one question that we all have to ask. Do you G2? Do you G2? Do you, G2? Um, I guess that's all we have today. We want to thank you for joining this week's Growth Group Central. Don't forget to sign up for a group if you haven't already. You can talk to our amazing team in the lobby. You can check it out online. We'll see you all next week for our last session and final preparations for the regular season. Have an awesome day. Thank you all for joining us.